All right, main X. I have a new experimental pump product that is in this. Actually, will be taken nasally. I know some oh, of you are good uh, taking things anally a, and that's, orally. That's to loosen your sphincter, right? We're taking it nasally, and this it's a so problem. far has been working very well. well after I, uh, after I did that little Snapchat of you with that shit, somebody messaged me a screenshot of what that shit is. It's for homosexuals. They use that to loosen up their assholes. I can smell it from here. What the hell is that? Just breathe it in. It's well, I'd say it's a proprietary blend. Just don't do it too hard. The key is nice and smooth. And I can just feel the blood rush. He's ready to go get fucked in the locker room now. <laughs> well, I can that's, take... why, that's why Bob Zilla's here. I see her fist behind me would fit quite nicely. Jay, come try the popper. Easy, Brad, easy. <laughs> Proprietary information. Well, yeah, there is a lot of homos in here. You know, the routine's a simple one warm up set, a feel set, then two work sets between six to ten reps, obviously to failure. But once you start getting a couple of consistent tens, you add five pounds to the bar. Then you fight like five a dog. Or five on each side. You can have a two and a half. You fight like a dog, utilize them, two and a half. Nobody else utilizes them. Fight like a dog to get it. Dorian did one set, but I think two sets. Because sometimes it's hard to bring yourself oh, into an sure, intensity sure. range. He you should eat like a dog that. and fuck like a dog. Yeah, I did that recently. <laughs> like a dog that needs to be fucking castrated. But... You're ashamed of yourself after your last transgression? Yes, and it wasn't a transgression, it was a fucking... It was, a a a it was actually a trifecta. I heard you had a hat trick, Lenny. Who the fuck? It, it's amazing. I, I've never heard of it. I'm sure it's happened. But for you to fuck a man, a woman, and a tranny all in one night. And the weird thing was, the woman looked like <laughs> one of those little dykes. I don't, oh, fuck it. That's called I don't know what the fuck Which one did you enjoy the most and which one did you enjoy the least? Well, to be honest... That's the Lenny Fecta. To be honest, there were two girls in the men's room. I won't name the club. Uh, name names, watched. point fingers. He was with the guy. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I basically just start pounding them as hard as I can while these girls are watching. Oh. And I put my left arm around his hits. neck and I choked him, choked the shit out of him. While well, you were butt fucking. Yeah, and he's like, oh, I love it. Oh, I never been and this was a feminine looking boy? Unfortunately, yeah. It's something I wouldn't. It wasn't even a tranny. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. I am. Bad repercussions, but it was fun having the girls watch, but I seemed to get turned on and really put hurting the kid. And he liked it too, so. Jesus Christ. And that I'm not happy about it. Actually, I'm ashamed of myself. Fuck that little fairy. I would have fucked him too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, out of the closet, you two. I'm surprised I didn't crack his neck. But so this, I is, the, this is the next phase after training? No, and just fucking... That, that's that's gave me a little wake up call. Mm. It, besides thinking about it now, it's, it disgusts me. So then you went with that chick. And I said no. He's like going like yes, like you know they do. I was like, what's your name? He goes, <laughs> you know, he goes, I'm Kia. <laughs> it's like oh god. Did you ejaculate? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> so then how the night progressed? You know, there's right? nothing wrong with it. This is fucking amazing to me, the story you told me. I couldn't even, when, he's, when he called me and told me this, I was fucking speechless. I didn't even know I what I went to was. West Palm out, off of uh, Dixie to see if there was any old talent out there, and it wasn't. But there was a lot of music playing, so there was a club on one of those side streets. And there was a nice looking blonde sitting in the front all fucked up. I said, is this place any good? She says, why don't you come in and find out? So I came in, I had to go through this long hallway. And there's a club that's sort of outside, halfway outside, halfway inside, and it was packed. It was a Jamaican club, and there was a lot of Spanish girls there, too. And right up it started alley. raining. Yeah, it started raining, so half of the people were getting wet, and I was standing in the rain just to cool off. And standing one, in the rain? 
Yeah, because it's half of it's outdoor, half of it's indoor. And some of the Pete girls kept dip dancing, they, you know. Don't you stink when you get rained on? Like an animal? <laughs> You're worried about fucking hygiene now all of a sudden? <laughs> so, you to brush your teeth. You're worried about standing The girl had a black dress on and a typical Jamaican body trim waist around us. You can get a heart attack face. for brushing your teeth. Yeah, I've heard that. Then why don't you use mouthwash then? Do something. So she had the cookie cutter tattoos, you know, the writing on the shoulder all down. And she's like, I'm looking at it. I says, I like that. And she's like, well, if you like it, can you dry me off? So I dabbed her arm. Then I licked her arm. Then I picked up her arm. She goes, oh. And I gave her a pit stop. Or she gave me a pit stop. And I was doing it for about a minute. A pit stop? Licking uh, her armpit. I licked her what armpit the fuck? for over a minute. It was a her. It wasn't I don't even shit. want my dick in a girl's armpit. I had my left arm, my left hand finger in her in the front. Right arm finger in her, right up her butt in the back. While I was licking her pit, she's like, oh, that's even better. Oh, oh. And all these people were looking and laughing. It's like and you're fingering her butt. And her, and her pussy and getting a pit stop at the same time. And she was, I mean, right in front of everybody, which was a fun thing. Did you wash your hands when you were done? Uh, no. I didn't remember. Not what about remember. the feces on your finger? I guess I call it fertilizer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's a female. She's a human, not feces, a cow. Feces causes growth. Oh Perfect my God. fertilizer. Oh, so oh my God. I'm figuring if it goes through my skin, you may get some muscle growth. There's something to that. Every bangle of muscle growth you try to explore oh, and find oh, out. Oh my fucking but that's a new saying too when you tell a girl, say fertilize me, baby. That means, you know, take a dump on me. <laughs> I'd have to really like a chick to let her shit on me. <laughs> Plants are going to start growing out of your head. <laughs> I wish it would, yeah. And the wrestling is, if done right, it's the best sport. The best sport. Done correctly. I don't know, man. I, Done correctly. I like the 80s shit. But now I'm sure if you watch that old shit, it's garbage too. You know what I mean? When you're a kid, though, you think it's all great. You know, I, I don't know. Anybody over 12 years old watching that shit. And then you've got the same assholes. He's probably one of those assholes that wears a fucking football jersey. <laughs> Shit. Unless you're unless you're going to a, a game. Beautiful. Nothing on there, Dale. And the girl is looking at me the whole time. <laughs> Stop. Effortless. Shit, he's almost doing him stiff leg. Jeez. How you feel? No, it's not cheap, it's actually harder doing like that. You You're almost doing them stiff legged. That's some good low back strength. Yeah, I felt it all my whole back. Hey, this is what built me and Kalora's massive Jay's back. This one. just a fucking old man stuck in his ways. No, he has it's not his points. way, it's a fucking wrong he has valid way. Points, but of For bodybuilding, I disagree. I don't like box squats, I don't like stopping the reps. You gotta keep it moving. Who the fuck here is a bodybuilder anyway? Not one of us is a fucking I'm the greatest ever lived. <laughs> well, I'm not. But I was a cookie character. I'm, I'm the biggest freak that ever lived, as you'll soon see. We know about the freak part. 335 with veins. Enough said. <laughs> Rob. Let's go. W Rob gets in a wrestling ring. WW2. Gonna, he's going to be bringing back the freaks, bringing back the muscle from the 90s. And there's our manager back there. Look at that. Keep pulling it. You think Paul Vesque is going to do that? He's going to quit. Because he's got the money and the control. Well, control this, Paul. And quit copying my gimmick, trying to look like me. It's not going to happen. Yeah, Who's he talking about? This guy's hat. He's talking about Triple H. That's high rep heavy. That's how you build muscle. Good reps and big weight. Those low reps ain't gonna do shit, Mr. O'Toole. <laughs> you cool. Isn't isn't he due for another trip down here? He comes in uh, the winter. Get away from that New York cold. That's the only time I know he's not here when I see him in a different gym. <laughs> he looks like he has Down syndrome. But... Come on, Brad. 
Let's get some fight in it. There you go. <clears throat> Holy shit. Very impressive, Brad. It's almost stiff legged, so that's some strong hamstrings. Guys get over 200 pounds from wearing a bench. You can't shirt. even lower the weight unless it's heavy enough. It won't even lower. That's how the fuck did you get the shirt on? How the you fuck did that ever get started? People helping you. Really? How did that ever get started? It ruined. Yeah, how is that legal though? Ruined power. Well, if it gives you that much of an advantage, how is 150 that? 150 federations. It's whatever they say. Hold the microphone like this. Stop holding it by the cord. You fuck yeah. it and put it by your mouth. You can't use a shirt if the meat is raw. Okay. So only men go to raw meats. Did you ever get contact? You never got a trophy from that one because you didn't do the deadlift and the squat, right? That's why There was no left. squat at that meet. That was a push-pull, bench and deadlift. Oh, okay. So since you didn't do the deadlift, you... Right. I, I basically conceded because I couldn't keep up with them in the deadlift. Hmm. I don't know why you were so nervous. You lift the... 505, you could have done 525. I know, I get weird. Yeah. We could have, I, I, I think you're just getting hyped up. Yeah, but I mean, that's, I mean, I come we've across seen him do that, we've serious. seen him do 500 for years now. Yeah, you know, um, the, the guys in my private chat group asked me, Jay, what were you thinking about when you were getting all psyched up? Without hesitation, I told them fear of losing. Yeah. You know, if you're not afraid to lose, you're going to lose. Guys that are too cocky wind up in third place. <laughs> no, you need fear, but you can't let fear control you. You have to use the fear for something positive, you know? You don't think those guys that stormed the beaches in Normandy were fucking scared? Fuck yes, they were scared. There's fucking barbed wire in the water. You didn't even see guys would run into the water and their legs would get ripped off. Not, pretending to not be afraid is pseudo-masculinity. Fuck yes, you got to be scared. Where you at, Phil Heath? I did this once, Jay, but with 10-pound plates. I guarantee you Phil Heath cannot train anybody part with me. Yeah. Phil Heath is nothing but insulin and synthol. Can't even win. He can't even Isn't get a that basically everyone on the Olympia stage? Phil Heath had the world by the balls, and now he's a failure. It's like, it's like the movie Trading Places, where the old men that control bodybuilding decided he wasn't going to be champ anymore. All day, Phil Heath. Three more to kick Phil Heath's ass. One, two, three. One more to still Phil Heath's woman. One more to bang his mom. I thought you were do one more to drink his piss. I went up to Jersey. Look at the waist, Dale. 335 and counting. I don't know who happened. Who gives a shit about the waist? Look at how you look. Look at yeah. how Dale looks. Have you seen his yeah. recent pictures? No. Looks fucking great. He looks yeah. great. Why don't, don't you go up there and blow him? <laughs> how great he looks. Why don't you blow yourself? Well, he posted this before and after picture. He looked you know the what? same. I think Valerie looks great. That's right. She does. She does. <laughs> See how mad he gets? Yeah. Mad. I'm real cheered up because I know. I can't wait. One of these days, one of these days, it's going to be a bit roast, and I'll be looking at Brad, and I'll be saying, "What do you think about that, Brad? What are you, the front or the back? Front or the back, Brad? Are we going to switch up? Or we'll take a strap on and spit roast." What you? Brad would let Lenny in that pussy. Huh? You wouldn't let Lenny in her pussy. Of course not. I wouldn't let any of she, you. She. She wouldn't let any of you in. She there. wears the say. pants of that family, Brad. Yeah, okay. You know it's okay, Lenny. You didn't, you didn't understand the context of what I said. When he's talking about the pizza roast. I said, you, you wouldn't do that. I said, what ending are you going to be on, Brad? Brad wouldn't let Lenny do that. He's Lenny gets the mouth. In, what do they call them? Incels? Yeah. yeah. I don't think he's allowed to touch. Yeah. 
Come on, Chance. Dale, you got no chance, baby. Take a chance, Dale. <laughs> Bigger traps than Cornelius. <laughs> Bigger and harder than Dale will ever be. Look. <laughs> my manager likes that. Manager McCuck. <laughs> when are you going to get it back like that, Cornelius? Look at this core, too. Hard as a rock. My manager's just licking his chops knowing I'm going to do one of those flying bellies to the face when the guy's pinned at the ring. Bob Zilla's getting skipped. Has anyone ever seen Cornelius' 700 pound deadlift on film? Or is it just rumor? <laughs> Rumors. I'm about to play that song again. He he supposedly deadlifted like 700 at the Southeast Corner Federation Independent League of Northwest <laughs> Ireland. I'm sure it's on film somewhere. Some Cornelius, dig it up and post it for Some Jack. obscure powerlifting does he, does meet. Does he have you blocked too, though? Oh, yeah. Where's all this training at? She says, from what I hear, there's been so many problems with people getting robbed and assaulted. It hasn't come up anymore. She goes, but I know one. I said, no, you don't. She says, yes, I do. I'll show you where she lives. She's right across the street from me. So he went up, she went in this house. I mean, she waited in the car, locked the doors. And sure enough, you know, out walks one, dress, heels, blonde wig, gorgeous, young too. Black? Oh yeah, 22, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> so we went to the uh, Super 8 on Blue Heron. And there's this big fat white lady all diabetic, just laying on the couch. And we're banging on the door to wake her up to get the room. Oh, she was such a slob and she had sores all over her face. It was almost laughable how oh. disgusting she was. And got a room. That's Two the front ones. desk woman you're yeah. talking about. Super 8s are usually pretty good for being cheap. Yeah, so we all drop trowel and I got on. Nice the, big, thick black cock? No, it was tiny, it was actually. She oh, was, you gotta suck on it, make it big. It was very small. But well, it'll get big. I went in doggy style position. I had the girl from behind me. She's, you know, reaching underneath me. Felt really good, you know, rubbing my balls and my dick, doing this. <laughs> and she's doing this, and she's and she stuck her tongue in my ass. That's a rusty shit. trombone. Yeah, it was great. But the way she was doing it, <laughs> I said, "You're very talented." And you know, the tranny. I had to put her foot in my mouth. It was nice. It had, you know, the nice nail polish on it. And I was sucking her foot, and she was going nuts. Oh, you know, 22. Oh my God, I never had this done to me. A and smelly so fucking was, man's foot. Yeah, in the front. So then they, we switched up and the tranny, she did that to the tranny. And she was sticking her, I guess she was doing the same thing to me. She was sticking her fingers in. She was doing this. Right up her Gaping ass. you. Yeah. So she was doing that to me and it actually felt really good. I'm like, and the other girl was 27. I said, man, you're, you're an expert. So I never had that. That was pretty good. But the tranny sucking me off, she's doing it to the tranny, we switched it up, took him home, took the tranny home, took the girl back to the hotel. I slept there, but you know, as soon as I woke up, I got out. And always remember, maniacs, you go to a hotel, you put your wallet and keys underneath the mattress where you're sleeping. Always. Do not put it anywhere else. Well, if you're messing around with black hookers, yeah. Exactly. So I went out snuck. I don't Just usually don't pass get out before that. I don't usually get black hookers. So we went, eh, they're, they're pretty good. When we, so when we came back to the hotel, the tranny called. She goes, she wants to do it again. I said, no, I can't do it. I'm not 22 like you. I'm not 27 like her. You don't have that. I thought she wanted it again. I thought you were 18 forever. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Did forever. you come this time? <laughs> but no, we didn't do it the next time. And then once morning came, I sort of snuck out of there, left her stranded in Riviera. So she it's like I that. said at the gym earlier, that's the Lenny Fecta. Fucked a man, a tranny, and a 
woman at one night. And I, the whole drive home, I, I felt like a... How many people do you know have done that? I felt like... That's some non-cookie cookie. Like I felt a horrible feeling come across <laughs> me. It's a hat trick. I was ashamed of myself. I really was. Ashamed of all that. You should be. It got to a point where, I don't want to do that anymore. But you know what? That's what the key, the key was. When you do it, get do so degrading and nasty that you don't want to do it for a month. Because the temptation's going to come by you. <laughs> the temptation's going to come by you. And, you know, it's not going to be successful if you give in to that all the time. These people, you know, they got nothing to do all day. That's why they do that. They do that probably every fucking day. They get high. They're living it up. Don't get me wrong. Living those it are, up. They're living it up. They know how to work the system and everything. Having a black possible. cock inside you is not living it up. <laughs> Jay, come on. Because well, you, you're leaning back. Just go straight down. I can't bend get in legs? there without more can, weight. Can you bend your knees or no? You want more weight on there? I can do anything for a hundred bucks. Or a thousand. <laughs> you guys <laughs> I don't get on my knees for less than a hundred. Jesus fucking Christ. Any word, any, look, any, word, look, look, look. any word from Lenny's dancing This isn't enough to get me out of here either. Lenny, pick me up. Lenny to the rescue again. Yeah, grab the bar, grab the bar. <laughs> you guys are making a habit out of this. Jay just wants Lenny to feel him up. That's a lot of beef back there, I tell you what. Honey's never felt lats like that. That's like a refrigerator. Yes, he has. That, Hard that, as a rock. That, fucking, that thing he did in Vegas was bigger than huge. That bitch was like 6'5". That thing was huge. And it went up. That was it. Uh, still disturbed from that. <laughs> You ought to be disturbed. <laughs> your biggest fear is going to your grave and not being able to experience that or have the guts to do it. Okay, it takes guts. It takes insanity. It's your fucking, Don't knock your it till you try it, Brad. <laughs> That's why with Look Valerie, I can't really... I'm serious. <laughs> until I try Valerie, I really can't make an honest assessment of it. You never will, so don't worry. Listen to this guy. Oh, he's... Just like I take your word for it with the trainers, you can take my word for I it with I never this. will, Brad. That's... He's all... He when said, he meets her, he'll, be, he'll be a gentleman, very nice. You know how he is. But he says it like she has no say in the matter, <laughs> no, exactly. you know? That's what Brad said. Exactly. He'll never... Like, she has no say in the matter. <laughs> <laughs> On the contrary. <laughs> Leonard. After the text you sent me the other night. <laughs> Will you wipe your... You keep having a bead of sweat on the tip of your nose. Wipe the fuck off. Lick it off. Everyone gets showered in. Oh, big guys, your dick's like a cat. It gets sucked in when you're heavy. Uh, That's true. When I lost 60 pounds and Jay loses that for his physique shit, believe me, he'll get three more inches. Yeah, when, when you're ripped for a bodybuilding show, your cock is going to look a lot bigger. No big yourself, fat man. guys. Even those big fat trannies. They all got that. It gets just, the Haitian girl explained it three years ago. It's, it's, gets, it's inside. She goes, it's inside, Leonardo. And she's she tucked right. up into me. She oh, goes, it's, it's I not can feel just it. because the body surrounding it, it gets involved. Yeah. It it your body's bigger and yes. so it looks smaller. Your There's dick is things. still attached at the same location, Proportion. no matter how big you are. Really? I did, I would not have There's two that. reasons for it. It looks smaller. Yeah. Getting a free biology lesson tonight, Brad. Go ahead, keep going. But it does go inside as well. It gets engulfed. Keep making excuses. I'm grabbing that back machine, <sighs> Well, I know someone could be the judge. And I bet you I'm thicker than you. <laughs> you Guarantee better be. You. You're, fucking, you're three times my size. <laughs> well, that's a Freudian slip because you, it's going to you said 99% of the time, your dick is going to be proportionate to your body. It's just the way the nature works. So if you're built, if you're Dale's size, you're Dale's size. Lenny was very impressed with Dale. He thought he stuffed his trunks. He did. He did? He did. There's obviously some, something, uh, <laughs> a foreign object in those posing trunks, Dale.
do. Women are always trolling for the bigger, better deal. That's plain and simple. They're not cheating for sex. Most women cheat with a guy that, from work because they want someone to listen to them talk, and we're so sick of them by the time we, <laughs> after we've been fucking them for a few weeks, we don't listen to their shit. It goes in one ear and out the other. So they find some clown from work that'll listen to them talk, and they get so turned on by that. <laughs> You're laughing because it's true. Oh, my God. <laughs> Women do not cheat for sex. No way. Unless it's Wilt Chamberlain or something. 20-inch <laughs> dick. Leonard, no. you're deep in thought over there. What are you thinking? Oh, I think i got to shove for food. <laughs> he looks like he's got low blood yeah, sugar. Yeah. Or yeah, high I, blood did you sugar. eat after you worked out or no? I drank a post-workout, but I took 10 more units of slow-acting insulin. i got to get shopping. All right, it's about that time shit. anyway. Oh, shit, it's 10 to 10. Yeah. You want to open that real quick? Okay. They asked you to open it on the podcast. Uh, Jay, grab that box. I can't watch him open a package. No, Makes me crazy. Pretty, he's not as bad as Jason. Plus, since he's hungry, he's going to get rid of it. Well, the Misfits, thanks for the incredible months year after year. We're huge fans. <laughs> he's Thank you, Misfits. Out. We're huge fans from liberal Southern California, the other neighbor in Boca Raton. Big Lenny, you're the biggest freak in Port Char that we love every word you speak. Andrew doesn't get enough credit for being a complete non-cookie cutter. Brad, you're still a dope-smoking, tattooed, cookie-cutter freak. <laughs> but there's nothing better with you than Jay, with being with Jason. Big oh. Jay Masters, checking in from the podcast, looking forward to see a new world record holder and the Masters bench press. King Andrew needs a shout-out, too. Need him to move back to Delray and resume training with Big Lenny. Even Sam a Pantzilla has become a men-filled non-cookie cutter. Come on, Rob, keep filming the Big Lenny show. Since you're all non-cookie cutters except for Bard, please <laughs> accept these T-shirts to be warm when you go to war with the weights. With those 120-pound skinny freak gym plant a cookie cutter in L.A. dope smoking fitness. <laughs> Nothing more non-cookie cutter than wearing direct to competitors' clothing in their facility. I only have a 2X for Lenny, unfortunately, so he makes it to 700 pounds ripped. He wouldn't be able to fit it, but hopefully he can wear it for now. We couldn't find a 6XL to fit that fat pig Janoy. 